While the substitution method is very helpful for solving systems of equations, it's very easy to introduce fractions with this method. So we do have another method for solving systems known as the elimination method. The first step is to multiply one or both of my equations by a constant so that the coefficients of one variable are opposites. I want something like a 2x and a minus 2x, or a 4y and a minus 4y. We're then going to add these two equations together. And when we do, one of the variables will cancel, so we'll be down to one variable. And we can solve this variable just like normal. We can then substitute this variable into one of my original equations and solve for my second variable. Let's look at some examples. Let's start with 2x minus 3y equal to 5 and negative 2x plus 7y equal to negative 1. In this case, my x's already have opposite coefficients. I already have a 2 and a minus 2. So I can actually start by just adding these together. My x's will cancel. Negative 3y plus 7y is 4y. And 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Dividing both sides by 4, and I get that y is equal to 1. I'm then going to substitute this into one of the original equations. I'm going to use the first one. That gives me 2x minus 3 times y, which is 1, equal to 5. So 2x minus 3 is equal to 5. Adding 3 to both sides gives me 2x equal to 8. And dividing by 2 gives me that x is equal to 4. So my solution is 4, 1. Next, we have the equations 3x minus 4y equal to negative 7 and x minus 2y equal to negative 1. For this one, I'm actually going to try to make the y's match up. I'm going to leave the first equation alone. And since the first equation has a minus 4y, the second equation needs to have a plus 4y. So I'm going to multiply this by negative 2. Negative 2 times x is minus 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2y is plus 4y. And negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. Now when I add my equations, my y's cancel. 3x minus 2x is x. And negative 7 minus 2 is negative 5. We need to substitute that into one of my equations. I'm going to use the second one this time x is negative 5, so negative 5, minus 2y equal to minus 1. I can add 5 to both sides. That gets me negative 2y is equal to 4. And dividing both sides by negative 2 gives me that y is equal to negative 2. So my solution is negative 5, negative 2. Next, I have 2x plus 3y equal to 9, and 3x plus 2y equal to 1. I need to start by figuring out which variable I want to make the coefficients opposite. In this case, I'm going to do the x's. And this time, I'll have to multiply both equations by something. I'll multiply the first equation by 3. 2x times 3 is 6x. 3y times 3 is 9y, and 9 times 3 is 27. To get the other coefficient of x to be negative 6, I need to multiply the second equation by negative 2. Negative 2 times 3x is minus 6x. Negative 2 times 2y is minus 4y. And negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. We can then add these. My x's will cancel. 9y minus 4y is 5y. 
and 27 minus 2 is 25. Divide both sides by 5 to get y is equal to 5. I then need to use either of my two equations. I'll use the second one here. It says 3x plus 2 times y, which is 5, is equal to 1. Or 3x plus 10 equal to 1. I can subtract 10 from both sides. That gives me 3x equal to negative 9. Dividing by 3, I get x is equal to negative 3. So my solution is negative 3, 5. Next, let's consider this system 2x minus 4y equal to 7 and negative 4x plus 8y equal to 2. I'm going to multiply the first equation by 2. 2x times 2 is 4x, minus 4y times 2 is minus 8y, and 7 times 2 is 14. The second equation I'll leave alone. This time when I try to add them, I have 4x minus 4x, that's 0. Negative y plus 8y, that's 0. So the left-hand side is just 0, and the right-hand side is 16. This would tell me that this system has no possible solution. Finally, let's consider the system 3x minus y equal to 2 and negative 9x plus 3y equal to minus 6. I'm going to multiply the top equation by 3. 3x three times 3 is 9x, minus y times 3 is minus 3y, and 2 times 3 is 6. I'll leave the second equation alone. This time when I add them, minus 9x and 9x cancel, minus 3y and 3y cancel, and 6 and minus 6 cancel, I get 0 equal to 0. This tells me that this one actually has infinitely many solutions, since 0 is always equal to 0. In order to handle this, I'm going to take one of my equations, I'm going to use the top one, and solve it for one of my variables. I'm going to solve for y. I'll subtract 2 from both sides to get 3x minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. And then I'll add y to both sides to get 3x minus 2 is equal to y. When I write my ordered pair, the y-coordinate will be 3x minus 2, and the x-coordinate will just be x. This tells me what the forms of my solutions look like. If you give me a value for x, we can find an ordered pair that works.